All right, we're getting ready to start testing on our gravity flyer. I wanted to show you something. Here's my gravity flyer right here. We are connected to our Tesla coil, right? We're just going down the throat of it, just like that. We're not hooked to anything. Here's the little wire that comes off of it right here, so you can see it. Now, I want to show you this on the oscilloscope. This is kind of cool. So let's look at the circuit real quick for the ZVS. We're connected in down here. Just so you know on the ZVS circuit, the wire on your right hand side when you're looking at it this way with the power source there is always to the bottom. And the other wire clips on and goes around the coil to whichever one you're going to get to to get your proper resonance. Now, we just have a simple right here 40 volt power source here's the cool thing watch the magic now people wonder why the gravity flyer gets in the megahertz watch you see that right there so we are just barely tipping it and that's at the very bottom right there understand this you're not going to be running that all the time this is where feedback happens so you can see we're already doing good. We're going to be able to hit the megahertz range. So let's clip this up right here. I can feel the heat in there. Did not like that at all. That's a good sign for this. So let's see what we get now. We're getting a better signal, not a great signal. Bring it up one. Now we got something. Okay, so. Let's take a look real quick. 370, 360. Now, this thing resonates with it attached to it around 340, so we're close. But just check this out. We went from clipping it at the very bottom to just a couple coils up. What does this signify in our gravity flyer? When we do the feedback, it's pushing down to the megahertz range. When it comes out of the feedback loop, it goes back to the regular resonating frequency. So, let's see, we're a little off, but that's okay, we can still check and see. We are getting plenty of light up from our Tesla coil here. Let's see. And there it's lighting right there next to our gravity flyer. Now it's not perfect yet, but guys, we are well on our way. So, positive news going in for our testing. Let's see. We're not warm at all yet. Guys, this is a very, very good sign right here. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys this. And then later on, we're going to do some testing. I'm going to show this. Hopefully, what I can show in the testing later on is I want to be able to drop that thing right into the megahertz range as soon as I flip it. So that's kind of the goal here guys. So just understand we're doing good so far.